kudos to you, sir, for your uh, relentless um, support, philanthropic aid in Nigerians, or for Nigerians, I mean, in terms of diaspora, people in diaspora. Uh, I understand that there are a lot of things happening there. Your intervention and uh, your convenience of Nigerians in India and South Africa, to be precise, where, you know, I know that they were very problematic at the time, you know, and you went in there and performed the magical things that, let me say, the, the federal government couldn't do anyway. Yes, I said this on this platform. <laughs> so how can we foster good relationship, you know, with these countries where Nigerians reside abroad and they're still struggling with the support of the federal government? The, every Nigerian is uh, stigmatized. Oh. This country is stigmatized. Um, if you pass a crime scene anywhere abroad mm. and they have so many nationalities around there and they see a Nigerian, the Nigerian must have committed a crime. Mm. Mm. You don't want to know the number of Nigerians in jails worldwide for something they didn't know anything about. The Nigerian man is not given any benefit of doubt. So we should try to fight that stigma. That is why what happened in South Africa happened. I wanted to stop xenophobia and xenophobic attacks. So I decided to do what I did. A lot of people said, oh, I did it deliberately for uh, political, reasons. political reasons or for publicity. No. We were in a meeting at the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. The late uh, former uh, NCA DG invited all airline owners. So we were in a meeting with him and on television we were seeing Nigerians running helter skelter while the meeting was going on. Nigerians crying and you know. So and I said, gentlemen, why not we send our jets in? So I, I wanted to all my colleagues in the airline industry, to everybody one jet, bring me one jet, let us go to South mm -hmm. Africa and move Nigerians out of that place. If all of us had done it, nobody, it wouldn't have been, oh, it's Allen Oyema, Allen Oyema. That was how it happened. And we deployed, even my cabin crew and my pilots refused to receive allowances for those trips. Nice. Fantastic. Nigerians want to be one. Politicians should leave this country alone. Mm. Mm. Politicians should leave this country alone. And the ordinary people should stop following politicians. Mm. They are trying to divide this country. They should leave this country alone. Um, mind if we delve into some, a little bit of politics, because I know in the public domain, people have also uh, asked questions as to where is his political alignment? Are we looking out for Ali Nyema in the near future, contesting for the governorship of Anambra State or for one political uh, elective position? What's your political aspirations? None. Ew. Fantastic. No. Why? Day. A lot of people have accused me. Some have even gone to the press. The, the, the press. I do some things. I remember when I went to um, Benue State to reconcile Mieti Allah and uh, mm -hmm. uh, the people of Benue State. said it's for politics. Some people said uh, they attacked uh, uh, Saleh Al-Hassan. So you're the one trying to uh, make this uh, Igbo man president in 2023. Mm. Mm. If you look at my history, I've been like this since I was created. And I've been working passionately for this country, even as a kid, as a mm. student, as a secondary school student, high school student, as a university student in the University of Ibado. It's unfortunate that politicians will never see anything good in others. The moment you want to do any good to this country, they read political communism. They are the ones that read political communism. Yeah, it benefits yeah. they them get, too. They get jittery. Yeah. And that's why they scare people. Good people, men and women of goodwill, politics. who would have been able to come in to salvage this country away. It's good they're hearing uh, it today. Uh, so they like do it, but I'm not, I don't have any political interest. I do this is for love of my nation. I want to touch about the controversies in the um, industry, um, and there are two two controversies that stand out. The first one is the what they call the equipment zero visibility landing equipment that allows you to land even when the weather is bad. There was some controversy about Nigeria spending so much money and we're supposed to have it in four airport, Lagos, Abuja, Potakot, and Kano. And I don't know, maybe it was other Stella or Doha we had issues with it. But this week, there was a colloquium happening in Kano and a lot of airlines couldn't land. The weather was bad. What's really happening with this equipment in Nigeria? Yes, it is true that when you're going abroad and uh, the weather is very bad in some cases, you, you can uh, automatically the plane can land Landing. itself once you program it. However, here is not the case. Uh, the truth is that we've not gotten to that level. The government is trying to put that infrastructure in now, 
but it's not yet there, 100%. Okay. 100%. Uh, but uh, okay. there's an improvement.